As it pertains to the question, um, let me be very clear that we have been pushing from the very beginning social distancing and asking people to remain home so that we can save as many lives as possible. What we encountered on Sunday was not a situation where we allowed anyone to do anything. What we decided to do was because the event had already started happening, there were over 100 people that were already in attendance. And we also had our Pathways to Peace team go out there and talk to people and recognize that they were not in a frame of mind to actually um, receive social distancing at that point. The chief and I was uh, decided um, after talking to one another about what was the best course of action, not to crash the plane that was already in the air. What we decided was to allow that plane to land safely and then to deal with the situation afterwards, which would be making sure that we educated the community and we went back out there the next day, made sure that our Pathways to Peace team handed out information and talked to people. On top of that, let me also extend my condolences to the McMillan family that lost their son um, on that night, on Saturday. I also want to extend my condolences and deepest condolences to people that suffered loss from the coronavirus. I also suffered a loss. My uncle passed away in New York City. We do not have his body. We do not know if we will ever be able to access that body. So I sympathize and I understand, and I want this community to know that we're all in this together. But the best thing that we could have done on Sunday was do no harm.